What's up, man? Let me get this real quick. I freaking love that track. Hey man, I'm just sitting here sampling tracks, man. I got this new W King. I don't know if it's new or not. I don't know how long this thing's actually been on the market. It can't be that long because the Boombox 3 is actually almost, I guess it's about a year and some change old. So this one had to come afterwards because as you can see, this is like a replica of the JBL Boombox. And in fact, in some ways it's a JBL Boombox killer. And we're gonna figure it out today which one sounds better, okay? Or which one is a better overall speaker purchase? Because right here at retail price, you're looking at about $500. That's five bills, man. You gotta save up and pull out your 401k to get the Boombox 3, but you're getting absolute great sound quality. Some of the best build materials and, and build quality you're gonna find in a uh, kind of an all around outdoor Bluetooth speaker. Just a great speaker all together. And then you got this, this classic JBL boombox look. But then you got this W King X20 coming in and I think re retail price is like 320. I ended up paying uh, like 243 on Amazon cause I got a coupon or something like that. So for 250 to, to maybe $320, you know, you're getting something very similar, man. And it, it does, it, it bangs. It's got, it, it's got everything you would want in a Bluetooth speaker and then a few extras. So let's go ahead and talk about that as we jump into this quick comparison. So as far as aesthetics, man, that's all up to you. You got your JBL tramp stamp right here, which some people absolutely despise. I like it. It makes it look like an outdoorsy kind of just do anything kind of speaker. This is not something I would want sitting up on a shelf in my house because of the, you know, the logo, but hey, it, it is what it is. And I like it for the purposes I use it for, which is basically working out and doing stuff outside of my house. However, we got W King here, which is kind of, of a little bit more subdued design with their logo. It's just boom right there. Kind of simple and understated, but you got these nice big buttons here, which is my favorite part. The buttons, I don't have to, like they're all here and they're highlighted and you don't have to kind of guess and feel around for what's next. Oh yeah, the handle. The handle is all plastic, but it is a sturdy plastic design, okay? And the reason I bring that up is because a lot of times if you're outdoors, you're going to have this thing in the sun, the Boombox 3, this thing will burn the hell out of your hand because it does get hot because it is metal. Plastic don't get hot like that, so you can just grab this thing and go. Speaking of grab and go, it comes with this strap. It got some W King branding on it. Look at that. They put some attention into that, man. So you got W King on the branding, but then if you don't need the strap, you just have this nice sleek look right there, and boom, there it is. You don't need a strap, but because they gave me one, I'm gonna use it. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna put this bad boy right there, and now you could just kind of, you know, go hands-free, because this speaker is heavy. It weighs about the same as the JBL Boombox 3, but you know sometimes you, you need both your hands because this thing can get pretty heavy. Let's put that back there though. So looking at the exterior design of the speakers, they look very similar, but let's go into some key differences here. Oh, but first of all, let's talk about these drivers. Dynamic driver, dynamic driver, dedicated racetrack subwoofer in the middle. Where do, where do you remember this from? I remember it from the Boombox 3. Driver, driver, dedicated subwoofer racetrack style hey man sometimes uh what do they say uh imitation is the best form of flattery <laughs> it is what it is man you got your your passive radiators right there you got your jbl exclamation mark and then you got your w king right there so just check them out wilson then let's turn around to the back side because this is where we get into some very key differences. First of all, let's get into the boom box. Let me just hold it right there for you, Wilson. Open up that speaker booty, man. You only got three things happening here. You got your DC cable, okay? You got to have a cable to plug into that. It doesn't have the charging brick anymore. It's just a cable. But then you got your USB, your standard USB right there. Then you got your 3.5 millimeter output right there or your aux cable. Then we're going to close up that speaker booty to waterproof it because this is IPX67 uh, rated for uh, water and dust and stuff like that. So that's nice to have. But when we come around to the speaker booty of the W King, dude, we got all kinds of crap going on in here. This is your DC input, USB-C charging. It's got a three hour quick charge time. And then that, uh, which one is that? This right here, that's the aux input right there. And then you got a monitor because you can plug your headphones into, into this and monitor your sound because we have a guitar input here. That's a 6.2 input. 
But right here, we that's where you charge out, okay? So you can share that 24-hour battery right there with that USB-C. Then you got a USB-A, that's probably for service or something like that. And then you got, you don't see this these days, man. Nobody's really doing this. This is a TF card reader right there. Boom. So that's closing up the speaker booting so we can maintain that IPX67 waterproofing. Look, is it raining? Oh man, I gotta get my patio furniture from off the patio, man. My stuff gonna be soaked. But before we get into that, I need to tell you how these speakers sound, man. I'm not gonna tell you which one sounds better. That's really gonna be up to you. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna tell you which one sounds better to me. But first, I gotta let you listen to them first. So let's go on ahead and out here and we're gonna just play them in the rain. Let's do that. for yourself so i don't know what you can really hear over the uh you know youtube compression and then my microphones and all that crazy stuff but the deal is uh, the jbl speaker to me sounds a little bit more rich at the baseline eq because I, I had them all flat like how they come out of the box the jbl boombox 3 sounds a little bit more rich it's definitely a little bit more boomy as far as the resonance even outdoors without echoing off anything 
But like I said, you got a 10, well I didn't tell you, you got a 10 band EQ with this thing. And you can stereo pair them. You can't do like party cast or anything like that to hook up like multiples, but you can definitely stereo pair. Uh, right away, why? why? Mita. <laughs> Zitsen. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. So you can stereo pair the W King and you can also stereo pair the boom box, but you can also party cast with like minded JBL speakers uh, with the, uh, the boom box three. So that's where the boom box three does give it another one up. But at the end of the day, you, yes, I feel like you do get better sound here. But when we're talking about bang for buck, literal bang for buck loudness and everything else, like, man, it's really hard to, to talk about spending, you know, 500 plus dollars on this one when you're getting out for like 250, 300, dude, it is really hard. It, it, you, oh, it's, it's just really hard to make a decision. Some people are all about sound quality and that's all that matters. So yeah, you're gonna go with what you go with, right? And that's probably gonna be a JBL because I know how you JBL fanboys are, but some people really want a great sound with a lot of built-in value. And that's where W King comes in with their speaker and they are doing a good job at it, man. They making it really hard for JBL because you get the strap, you get all the extra ports and stuff and you don't have to pay a lot of money for it. But what I will tell you is one thing I did notice and I'll get out of here after this. As you go up in volume, like JBL has a tendency to reduce bass once you start turning up the volume. Uh, but I did not notice that here with either one of these speakers for whatever reason. Usually with the Boombox 3, you, st you get a slight reduction, but it's not anything that you're going to be whining about, like what, what would happen in a, like an Extreme 3. On both of these speakers, they are equal to me as far as where they play at 50% volume with the bass. And then once you turn it up to about 80%, the, the bass still hangs in there, man. And that's what I really like about both of them is, uh, both of them is because they're playable at loud volume. So if you do have it at the beach, you know, you're doing all your stuff, you can still get really good sound quality out of them from all ranges, from the bass, the mids, and the highs. But that's all I gotta say about that. And you know I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is WK X20 is a great value. Raylan, what you think about it? He didn't went to sleep. He calls all that, oh, you're not asleep. Okay, look, we gonna get out of here, man. <laughs> Hey man, me and my dog, we're doing dog dad and dog stuff right now. So that means y'all gotta go. Y'all keep being good to each other and we'll see you when we see you.